When examining structures in real life, we usually extract the skeleton and use it for analysis. The definition of skeleton is the body of the system that consists only of the structural members learned previously, such as beams and columns, also known as the parts that can sustain loads. The following are some general steps used to depict the skeleton of a structure. The first step is to identify and draw out the individual structural members from the real life example. Secondly, determine what kind of joints connect the parts together. Are they pin joints or full moment connections? Third, assume that the body weight of the structural member only acts through the center of mass. Lastly, show how the forces from different members act on each other with arrows. The first example we will look at is the Athena Parthenon. Pause the video here and see if you can determine how to represent this structure as a 2D cross section. First, we will draw the columns and beams using lines. Second, we will represent the connecting parts as pin joints, meaning no moment is transferred between members. Third, we will show with arrows how the weight of the columns exerts a force only through the center of mass. Recall from earlier that the center of mass is the average position of the entire object. Lastly, we will show how the load of the roof structure and beams is distributed evenly across the width of the structure and supported by the columns. The second example we will consider is the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Consider for yourself why the structure is stable despite having a 4 degree tilt. The answer is because it has very large inner walls, 4 inches thick. These walls would wrap around the entire cylindrical shape kind of like the 3D cross section I am showing here. These walls prevent the tower from shearing or collapsing sideways. In the picture below, try to determine which members are columns, beams, and braces. These vertical members highlighted red are the columns, which carry forces by compression. The blue horizontal members are the beams. Recall that they carry forces by bending. And finally, the green additional supports are the braces that carry forces by both tension and compression. As a mini activity, look around the room to spot any structural members like the ones we just identified. Ask yourself, what purpose do they serve in supporting the room? For example 3, we will look at a pedestrian bridge. What do you think the pivot at the center does in terms of supporting the bridge? When pedestrians cross the bridge, the weight is not distributed evenly, so the load is not symmetric on both sides of the bridge. The purpose of the pivot is to provide some flexibility in the shape of the arch and allows the two halves of the arch to slide across each other without bending to occur. I have shown this movement with green arrows.